What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Destroy, and welcome to my playthrough of What Remains of Edith Finch here on the PC. Yes, this game has been out for quite a while. I think it was 2017, the year that this game was released. It's currently available on uh, Game Pass on the Xbox, but uh, I did try playing it on that, but the performance was pretty shit. And uh, yeah, I just didn't want to upload, you know, bad quality videos, I guess. I was dropping a lot of frames and all that sort of stuff, so I thought I'd get it for the PC. Um, I, it's on sale at the moment anyway, the Steam sales for Christmas and stuff. So I think it, I think I paid like seven bucks for it or something like that, seven dollars fifty, something like that. So it's still pretty cheap because it's normally around thirty bucks. But uh, uh, it's quite a short game. I think it's sub two hours, around about two hours anyway of of length. But um, I'll still be cutting these into episodes because. You know, these days I'm all about 4K and all that sort of good stuff. But um, I have loaded in the game, as you can see there. But it throws you straight into it. So uh, I'm going to hit new game. And uh, yeah, let's get it. Are you sure? This will erase your current save data. That is fine. Load in, load in, load in. I have turned the music off. Because I think in one of the scenes... Um, Wow, that's loud, dude. Um, in one of the scenes, John Carpenter's Halloween theme is playing, and of course that would obviously be copyrighted. So, but anyway, here we go. What remains of Edith, Edith Finch on the PC? I have seen a couple of playthroughs of this, but it was a few years ago, so I might be able to remember some things. I might not. I don't know. We have to wait and see. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Fair enough. The best part to start is from the beginning. Here we go, we're in the game. Someone Oops. had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. Let me out. I'm going to do my best not to talk while the dialogue in the game is going, of course, but uh, yeah, so I'll try my best not to talk over her. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. I will admit, it looks so much better and it plays so much better than on the, uh, on, on the Series X. So, lovely looking game. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Okay. I forgot that, you know, it's manually. Like, you have to manually do things. Which is I fine. Been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. I just have to get used to it. Yeah, push the gate open. No trespassing. This property is protected by video surveillance. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Oh, yeah. That water looks so much better on the PC, man. Inner will? My mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Question is, which road do we take? The high road or the low road? I think they wrap around and meet anyway, so it doesn't matter, but... Start off up top. Dripping this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. A few hoof prints. Hello. Okay, so we've got a zoom feature, which is good. Let's see if we can see anything down there. Nothing really of interest. Even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Yeah. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. Crazy looking house with all the extensions and that. Looks like some sort of fun house. Got a basketball hoop, but no ball. Wow, that is stupid dark in there. Let's quickly backtrack. Can we backtrack at all? Maybe not. 
Hi. How did I miss this part? Because I can't remember if there's anything of interest down here, but I might as well um, check it out. <clears throat> as my voice goes. Always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. An achievement just popped up. I think it's at all roads. So, looks like it is worth checking this other road out. Or checking both of them out, anyway. Oh, there's a missing poster. Milton Finch. I think that's one of our brothers. And I don't think there's anything much down there. So, we'll turn around and head towards the house. Yeah, I don't know why, but my um, Steve achievements and notifications don't actually... Like, they'll pop up on my screen, of course, but uh, they don't pop up on the recordings, which doesn't really faze me, but I'm just curious on why, because I've seen videos on YouTube where they've obviously been playing a game via Steam and their achievements and whatnot pop up on their recording, so I'm just curious on what setting I have to change or whatever, but I suppose it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but... Whoa, look at that. Looks like some weird creature. Get a look at it. I kind of remember that. From one of the playthroughs I watched. It's supposed to be some sort of... I asked Edie once about the dragon in the pond. Dragon, oh she yeah. She said it had killed her husband. <laughs> yeah, right. And it's pretty hot today here. That's why I'm wearing a, a basketball jersey and uh, stuff like that. Such a beautiful house, man. Actually, you know what? I might back up a little bit. Take a little uh, sneaky screenshot for the win. There we go. See, that didn't even pop up in the bottom right-hand corner there. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Well, it would, yeah, especially if it looked like that. Uh, but the whole reason I mentioned it's hot, it's so I hopefully, like with my mouse moving and stuff like that, hopefully it's not too nauseating. But I am sweating a bit, so because it's, I think it's 35 degrees outside, so and inside with the heat of my consoles and PCs and stuff, my monitors, so I've got a triple monitor set up. It adds about 15 to 20 degrees on top of that, so it's probably pushing 50 degrees in my room. I haven't got an aircon. I can't be bothered setting up a fan, so... <laughs> Hopefully I don't sweat too much while I play this. As a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. So she's 17? I of the house. Yeah, that looks like the same missing poster. Well, can we get in? I hope the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. No, we cannot. All right. Let's go around the back. Gary's potting mix. And with games, I'm so used to be, you know, having the option to run or sprint. It's just a little weird. Like, I'll hit shift, but that's to zoom. You can also zoom with the right mouse button. So, yeah, you might see me doing that a couple of times. Just because I have it. Recyclables only. Prowling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Yeah. The power had been turned off the night we left. I was going to say, there's no point toggling that switch because uh, I don't think there'd be any power to the house. What have we got here? Got a freezer. With something in there. It's too dark to make out. Just looks like a wrapper of some sort. A uh, little kiddie pool. Is that a tennis ball? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Tennis ball on a bit of string. Alright, let's enter. For the first time in years. January 2010. I felt like I was home. Cool. What a crappy looking microwave, dude. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. 
Just Memories. 8 of 80, Dawn and Lewis. Uh, let's zoom in on that. In Love and Memory, Lewis Finch, December 27th, uh, 1988 to November 21, 2010. Beloved brother to 8 of Son of Dawn. Great grandson to 80. Memorial Service, Finch Family Cemetery, 2141 Fireweed Road. Cool. Well, not cool, but. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I remember that now. There's so many books in this house, man. The Holiday Feast, Witch's Kitchen, A Viking's Belly, Taste in Thailand, A Nordic Cookbook. Okay. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Yeah, you would get sick of it. White Rooster. Thought it would have said White Cock. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. Yeah, they'll get uh, pretty old pretty quickly. I like Chinese food, but I wouldn't want to eat it too often. More cans of salmon. More books. I mean, look at it. This is crazy. Hopefully it's not too dark as well. On the recording. 51 tales. Okay. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. I love it when you try and move around and the game's like, nope, it just pulls you in the uh, direction it wants you to pull, get pulled into. Is that blood or wine or something? Oh, no, there we go. Answer my own question. More books, of course. Plenty of pictures on the walls, too, which is kind of cool. Yeah, bit of history. Bit of family history there. Got some kids. Kids on a log. Two boys. Boy and a girl. Ooh. Oh, that's a garage. The garage, mate. More books, of course. That's exactly the same picture as that. Got some what, oxygen tank and a wheelchair. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Hmm. Must stink in here. All that old food. Oh, look at that. That looks kind of cool. As much as I love the water, I don't think I would want to live right near it, though. Like that. To be too close. There's an orca whale. What else we got here? Public market. I think that's uh, Seattle, isn't it? Where that sign is. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, there's a statue up there. Two of them. Yeah, I don't know. I just... Yeah. Like, once if a tidal wave came or it was just like a bad weather and massive storm. Just wipe out the house. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Yeah, so that's the original house there, is it? What am I doing? Walking into things. Yeah, I'm trying to get a good shot of this. There we go. Okay. Not a bad looking house. The original version. Got some surround sound happening. I like it. Some more pictures. That must have been Halloween, that bottom one. The Weird. More books. Books, books, books. Hmm. Military stuff, it looks like. Violin. Bugs. Barbara Finch. Oh, that's right. Yeah, she was a child actress. Child actor. A thespian. Wait, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Keep doing it. Right. Oh my god, really? I have to do it like that? Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara. Along with the rest of the house. Cool. 
I will admit that's kind of annoying the way you gotta wind that. So you gotta hit like D, then S, then A, then W, like in order. Surely there's an easier way to do that. Let's see if there is. Can I rewind that? Can I maybe use the scroll wheel? No, I can't. Alright, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Okay, we've looked in there, have we not? So I went to run then. Yeah, that's the kitchen. Okay. That reminds me of um, Detroit Become Human. Can we unlock it from here? <laughs> my mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. How tall was he? Four foot eight. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Why did you exit that view so quickly and suddenly? Ooh. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Book, 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 book. All the books. Never taste in Thailand. Cross Creek. Cross Creek Cookery. Bit of a tongue twister. Alright, I think we have to venture upstairs now. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Yeah. And Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. See what I mean? The game just like, nope, I want you to look this way now. Give me control, game. There's old mate. Can I look through there? Molly. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't Ooh. died in 1947. Look at that angle. That looks really weird. Probably because of the shape of the peephole, obviously, but... Uh, still looks odd. Can you crouch? I don't think you can crouch in this game either. It's automatic. More bugs. Someone swimming. Snorkeling, maybe? I don't know. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Canoeing. More bugs. One thing I like about this... Actually, I'll go down here first. One thing I like about this game is how it's got everything set up. You know, like your family pictures, photos. Um, all these books. I don't know what's behind. I don't know why there's so many books. I don't know if there's an actual reason for that, but but this entire setup, like all these frames and that, photos, it's pretty cool. It looks lived in. It's like the house is a character of the game itself, you know, because technically it's just you and the house. Sven and Edie. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Cool. Lover of birds, are they? What's this? Gregory's room? Oh, Gregory was only, what, a As year? As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Did I read that correctly? One year? One year old, yeah. Maybe not even a year old. Might, have, might not have made, you know, the exact 12 months. But obviously a baby. Uh, Kelvin. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother. Calvin. Oh, nice. That's lovely. Alright, Calvin was 11. Okay. I don't think I've missed anything there. Any speech bubbles? Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. On set. Okay, seeing some uh, repeat pictures now, which is uh, understandable. Because the devs would have had to, you know, write on all of these book bindings. Ooh. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Ah, oh, bummer. Ooh, what was that? Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Odin, now that's a name, dude. Have I looked in here? Can't remember. Barbara was a child. Star no, I haven't. Years. 
until America grew out of it. 1944 to 1960. So she was, what, 16 years old when she died. So America grew out of that. Hmm. In the 60s. All right, so this way. Yeah, I mean, look at all those pictures anyway. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. God, look at the setup, mate. Got the light, the murals and stuff. You got a whale. Got a house, but look at that. Oh, hang on, isn't that the original house? Another whale. They're obsessed with whales. Bruce this? told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Train car. God, take those gloves off. It's making me feel hotter. <laughs> uh, we want to go that way. Turns out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. So the left, right, up and down is fine now on it. It was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. On the keys. But doing that whole winding thing was really annoying. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Some crayons, some drawings. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Okay. Just want to make sure I don't miss anything either. I know I can play it again, but I would like to try and, you know, get all the dialogue and all that in the one playthrough. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. Auto save for the win. Oh, there's um that photo. That little girl had that cat's mouth and nose on, I think. So we're in my Molly room? Molly's room? I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. I don't know why I spoke like that just then, but... Uh, Anyway, what do we got here? Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Kind of reminds me of Little Miss Fortune. I just finished playing that. With the live nude hamsters and stuff. More books. Bed bug. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Okay, we can't, you know, we can't go through that door. I suppose that'd be a nice view, you know. Is this a diary? December 13th, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. I think I remember, vaguely remember this the part. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. I think Molly turns into a cat or something like that, or a bunch of different animals. My Halloween candy was all gone. Oh no. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Yeah, go to sleep. I can never remember if they're Swedish or um, Norwegian or something. Something like that. I ate. I ate a lot of things that night. I don't think that'll be 100% safe to eat. I kept eating and eating. She's eating toothpaste. Great. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Oh, here we go. This is where we turn into the cat. I remember this bit. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. <laughs> And suddenly, Ooh. I was a cat. 
Oh yeah. Come here, birdie. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Where'd it go? Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. How'd you get up there? Um, nope. There we go. It's funny how you can hear, like, the cat uh, purr. There you are. I keep losing track of the bird. Come back here. I'm hungry. And I almost got her. <laughs> angry pussy. Oop. Oh my god. I thought I was glitched into the game then. Uh, jump. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. Oh, the big I tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. <laughs> eating that mama bird. Uh, where are you? Is that... Can I get up there? There we go. From that angle, it just lo looked like I couldn't make it that high. I gobbled her up. Got her. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, totally normal. I then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Really? I don't hear it. Oh, now I do. Rabbits. Rabbits. What, do we have to go get it? I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Mm -hmm. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Something bigger. Uh, which way am I supposed to be going anyway? Does it matter or... A Wait. mama rabbit. Follow the noise. Go dive down. Let's go. Let's get it. Achievement unlocked. Great owl. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking. But I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. Yeah, this game. So now I'm a shark. Out of water. Uh, nope. Uh, dude, get off the freaking trees. Right, turn right, turn right, turn right. Yep, there we go. This is I weird, dude. The cliff and into the ocean. Now I was hungrier than ever. Okay. So now we're a shark chasing. What is that? Oh, it's a seal, I think. I wanted fat, juicy seals. No. Can't see. These controls are surprisingly difficult. Difficult. I can't speak. Get it. Eat it. What kind of shark are you? Where is it? Left, right. There you are. No, stop. I keep going to press, uh, what do you call it? W to go forward, but it's just making me look up. I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. Where to go? There again. No. It's just habit. Everything had changed. 
What am I now? Like an octopus or something? I've got to keep remembering to move forward. Left mouse button. <laughs> I turned music off. Why is there music playing? I was big, but I moved real quiet. Hey, buddy, your dinner. Num num. Now we're we going up or down. There we go. Drunken Zayla. Eat him. No, go back. I said go back. Wow, controlling this thing's a bit stupid. Eat him. Gotcha. Okay. Where are we going now? Oh, that's the toilet. Fair enough. Are we back in the house? Dude, no. Get out. I got closer and closer. Yeah, back in Molly's room. All of my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. To be, and we both know I will be delicious. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Hmm. It's a good point. Close the book. So how did um, Molly actually die then? Um, was it food poisoning or something? Or because obviously a big monster didn't kill her, um, unless they had big monsters back in 1960. I think that's when she died. Or was that Barbara, the actress? I can't remember now. But uh, yeah, it's not exactly 100% clear on how she died. I assume it might be something from the food she was eating, like the the gerbils I food. Describe it, but. I felt like some part of Molly was still here. Well, her spirit's probably there forever. Ah, uh, that explains that toy. Or plushy, whatever it is. But anyway, guys, what I might do is leave part one here. Um, like I mentioned earlier, it is getting a little bit too hot to play and record, so I might um, I might continue on tonight uh, when it's obviously going to be a bit cooler. Um, I do want to keep the videos around about 25 to 30 minutes just because, you know, uh, rendering in 4K can take a while and uh, so can uh, uploading and processing the videos on YouTube's end. So, yeah, how long have we been recording for? Let's have a quick look. So, 35 minutes. Um, so, yeah, I don't really want to go, you know, upload bloody hour-long videos or anything. Not at the moment, anyway. Plus, like I said, it, it's pretty warm. Well, hot, should I say. It's not warm. That'll be lying. It's getting pretty stinking hot here. So what I might do is leave part one here. Um, and yeah, like I said, maybe record part two 
a little bit later on when it's a bit cooler. But if you enjoyed that video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And I'll see you in part two. Adios.